arcane curse level one plus blood grenade you could potentially get some kills techies tk also holding one blood grenade and holding a point you're a big fan of blood grenade i i've noticed in the first few days of this new season that you're almost as big on blood grenade as you are on the big bad philly stuff yeah this item blood grenade buy it like you should not <laughs> have it in stock it's an insane item because i like tend to play very aggressive dota want, want to be active always was like that this is was like my favorite part of the game where you go and make someone's life miserable move across the map perfect item for it yeah i will see if i start purchasing that item but i was playing offlane i know it's mainly you like a support thing to yeah get. You, you can still get one you can yeah. all right I yeah, they, and my friends had given me it, some advice, but they're not pros. So check I'll look right by those in on Blood Grenade. It doesn't say 7.33 <laughs> cannot be bought on offlane heroes. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, you know what? Next time I play offlane, I'm going to buy a Blood Grenade. All right. I'll check your replay. But for now, let's check this live game. Looking at yeah, the mid lane. Coming in. Somnus, starting with the Flame Guard. This is Agility Hero for now. Might be swapped to the Universal Hero, which Wind Ranger is. And this is kind of a new build. Better going for more branches or having a casual circlet than getting something like a Bracer. We've seen like Null Talismans, Raid Bands, whatever you feel like in the game is needed if you need a little bit more Ooh, region. Gosh. Bottom lane, early damage on the Doom. And shang C looking like he's just going to die here. It's with the Blood Grenade from FY. So, TK trying to get a trade, and oh, the turnaround. Tian Ming turns around, and he ends Good up dying. Block. Sticky, sticky bomb there onto FY. TK, one more shot, and he'll go down, and that will be placed in by Lou. This has been a thing for quite some time now. With the introduction of Twin Gates, hold this tri lane, use Blood Grenade, use second Blood Grenade to get a kill. And Chalice, in terms of CS, not doing too hot. Considering that he was alone, he still is alone in the stop lane, sitting at 0-0. Zero, zero. Ooh. That's not what you want. I, I am wondering which kind of chalice are we getting, right? Like, he had, I almost want to say, two different career styles when he was playing before. It was the LGD Sacrificial Lamb, where off lane was always sacked for him, and it was him having to make whatever he could out of nothing. And then in the second end of his first part of his career, I guess, now with him coming back from retirement and him having to, you know, be more of a playmaker. And Chalice, well, he's Boss. getting pretty low and tries to get into the trees and he is away. He does pop that salve. Red Panda trying to stop it and eventually will. Seems like there's your answer. It's going to be sacrificial LGD Chalice who was left alone, and FY trying to square up against Red Panda, but having points and Glaives of Wisdom can't really take this fight. Even though you're involved in two kills, have boots of speed, Silencer still deals a ton of damage. You would think with this combo coming in from Chalice and FY of the Coddle and the Underlord, especially when that level 2 comes in for the Firestorm, that they should be pretty dominant in this lane laying down firestorm so often yeah, problem is you don't have any kind of a slow in this lane you have blinding light jesus if someone new comes to the game and clicks on blinding light there's a lot of reading to do this actually counts <laughs> as changes. reading a short novel yeah it's pretty nuts <laughs> a bit of a short story there yeah so many changes coming in for this blinding light uh from 7.33 a, B, and C. It's <laughs> a wall of text. Yeah. Potentially written by a uh, chat GPT. So. Needs TLDR on that. Yeah. I'll give you. Overbuffed, oh. nerfed, balanced. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for the TLDR. I, I appreciate that. I think, you know, if you could just do that for all heroes, you'd, you'd be making some pretty fierce content. <laughs> Ooh. I'll think about it. TK is chasing TMA, who doesn't have any mana to play with right now, and and no arcane aura yet. So level two just into the crystal nova and the frostbite, no surprise. 
But uh, he's dead chase. here, probably. If DK wants to commit another blast off, but he was afraid of getting frostbitten potentially. No mana on Crystal Maiden, however. Not sure. DK could have probably went for a kill, pop a stick, use another sticky bomb. Mids might have to start taking notice, by the way, because Somnus is already 32 and 4 to the 20 and 1 of XWY. He's back, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's back. Oh, gosh. It's, um, it, that, that has been such a funny meme on, on, uh, on Reddit, I will say. It's the, you know, after getting one CS, it's the urge to say, I'm back in this game or something like that is the format of like, X. You know, it was all like for me, it was always, it still is. If I miss the first CS, I know the game's gonna be bad. If it gets denied, that it's even worse. <laughs> I get angry immediately, start threatening oh, my gosh. teammates, destroying the items. Just kidding. No, but the, the first uh, CS is kind of very important because it gives you this like, like little boost. It's like, oh yeah, this is it. Like I'm doing really well. Then you get a deny, you get another CS, and. Looking at the chart, 39 and 5 on Somnus against 27 1 on Windranger and XWY, he's forced to go back. Honestly, I think he would have died if FY had thrown an Illuminate in there. I know it's only level 1, but XWY had like 50 health. But he came over to the lane and then gave the Chakra Magic over to Somnus, who is now sitting at that level 6. So. Mid was the lane that I, I've been keeping an eye on, and Somnus is certainly dominating at the moment. He's having fun. They'll go after Red Panda. Should be able to get a kill, especially with the Blinding Light, putting him back out of the low ground. And that will be a kill for Somnus. Well, now they think about going after XWI. You got to remember, he's only level 5. While Somnus is level 6 and does have that remnant available. Whenever I mention TK, I know in China, TK is short for Tinker. They have these letters, so I'll immediately think of Tinker for some reason. And the the best one for me is Underlord. Just means big ass. They have a name for it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They they simplify things that I really like. Just giving nicknames to heroes. Yeah, there was a bunch that uh, Black named for us when he was telling us about the, uh, his time playing in China. That they had all these nicknames for. Uh, all the heroes and some of them were hilarious Fun. right now top lane red panda coming over xwy was leaning that way for a second but not going to make the rotation to try and get a kill here on a chalice who i think at this point he's not fine but he is certainly recovering at 26 and 4 and you can see stacks are being made a plenty by fy Red Panda was thinking about maybe going in, stealing that Wisdom Rune. But FY, too speedy. Old man on the horse, and as you said, make some really nice stacks in the triangle. That's going to be for either Ember, Underlord. These two heroes can easily farm it. Chalice getting the levels. Has Vanguard available. Same goes for shang -Chi. Very interactive Dota 2 gameplay. Jim Ming came over through the Twin Gate, but he's going to be spawned by these illusions. Should be able to put some pressure onto the Tier 1 tower up in the top lane. So, not exactly easy here for Aster Ares to try and defend this with Ulu and Red Panda. Ooh, he does have meta, and they're going to go for this. Pit him Alice down, Red Panda taking some damage. The attention is there with four heroes up in the top lane, and they'll get a kill. As the silencer drops, and Terrorblade's forced to be pushed away. Who's going to be stronger carrying this game? Whether that's going to be Lu or Ulu. <laughs> Seems like the tower's going to drop. Yeah, Underlord. Doesn't have a point in Fiend's Gate at the moment, so can't be anywhere on the map. This ulti is so powerful. I mean, got nerfed in C version. Same goes for B, but it's still extremely strong. Like getting damage reduction, getting movement speed as well, also being able to contest enemy tormentors, going for the runes, just fits in nicely with the state of Dota right now. And with the, the Coddle in this game and potentially from a tormentor when he does get that shard for the recall, they, they can really have the whole team kind of just pop out. Ember Spirit places a remnant, shows up out of nowhere. Somnus, yeah, like looking really good this game. 
They're starting to come down towards bottom to go for Chalice. They want to get this kill. But using this gate and he'll just leave. See ya. Okay. And he's going back through the gates again. <laughs> Confident enough to just know that <laughs> they left. <laughs> they saw him go through the gate and they were like, all right, gank over. And he just comes right back through. Look at me, I'm time traveler. <laughs> they call me doctor. So. It's the best movie out of that universe. XWY really struggling on this Wind Ranger. Not able to get anything done. Needs some kind of a setup. But Doom is not going to be that guy because he wants to farm up. They don't have the stun. That's the problem. Like, there is Shackle Shot. There is Techie Stun. Oh, off. Tiki off there stuns. it is on the two. But quickly dispatching or trying to dispatch TK. They actually got the kill there on a TM Ming. Beans Gate is down. TK on the run. Somnus will get a kill with a sleight of fist. And Chalice, he sends the Fiend Gate. Fiend's Gate over, but, well, never chooses to go through it. When I said no stuns, I mean these stuns are relatively hard to execute. It's not like, you know, Tusk rolling in, setting things up, or with Earth Spirit, you need to be able to land it. And also Doom, he wants to farm up Wind Ranger, one of the heroes that wants to be active early on, wants to have like someone to set things up for a potential power shot. This is an ability that also got buffed. It's like 470 damage on level four. Whew. It's like an finger, upgrade there. the AOE finger of death. I think they need some kind of a buff again. <laughs> Ooh, they are following the courier and Searing Chains will stop that TP. XWY does land the Shackle Shot, but not going to get too far away with all the control that they have here for the side of Azura Ray. Somnus is also the one getting all the last hits, making sure that he has those with Slide of Fist. And FY, he's been playing with Somnus. Chakra Magic level three at the moment, more than enough. And now they're hunting the outer ring. Seeing if they can find someone. Hulu is underneath the oh, vision. No. Yeah, Slide of Fist, Searing Chains, and there's a Crystal Nova with a Frostbite. They will control Uru up, try to make it so he can't get a Sunder off, but with the Global Silence, that keeps Somnus still, and they do get the Sunder away. Uru trying to TP out, but that is immediately stopped. That was very bold and ambitious, and just trying to walk it away. He oh, popped the region rune. I'm not sure if it was expiring or if he popped him himself. Didn't see that he had Arcane Curse on him. It's still going to be great timing. We'll go back to full HP with this healing cell. There is Bounty Rune available as well to be picked up. Same goes for double damage, but that one's going to mm -hmm. be picked up by XWY. So bottled up by this Windrunner. He's still trying to get active in this game. Meanwhile, Somnus, he's already 4-0 and he's about to have this Maelstrom all at the same time. You've got Diffusal picked up for Lou, and he's casually on his way to Yasha Axe. Axe upgrade on Phantom Lancer feels really nice, I would say. I'm, I'm not sure if he should rush out. Doom committed, and they're going to get a kill here onto Chalice. Are they going to go for the deny? No. Just going to hold that ult with the freezing field, and... Eventually lose a second, but Somnus comes over. The double damage on XWI. You need to be a little careful. Sight of Fist, Remnant following his way over to XWI. Trying not to get controlled at all. We'll get the kill here out of the Windrunner. Now looking for more. They've got themselves a second as Doom will eventually die. There's some help there from FY with the Solar Bind to control him up and kite him out. After seeing that Doom is used, Somnus feels... Relatively safe coming into this fight. Nice use of the remnants. Finds XWI, and they're really playing around him. Refilling his bottle, giving him mana with aura, giving him chakra, reduced cooldown, using Pavis on top of him, and also Luke. He's the one who's going ham in this game. As a Phantom Lancer, involved in 7 out of 10 kills. Very active. The Fusal Blade finished. Let's see if he wants to commit with... Just Yasha for now, and then go into that Aghanim Scepter, which does bounce twice, and also extra movement slow. So, good Axe upgrade, especially against hero like Terrorblade. You want to cause a lot of confusion, and then you can also play off 
with Chakra Magic. It doesn't necessarily need to be Ember Spirit. Lower the cooldown on Spirit Lands. This has been super popular, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years ago. Keeper of the Light plus BL has always been a thing. Well, that's something you just kind of honed in on on the draft, right? Old school combos. Yeah, they still uh, do they work. Have. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks for backing me up, B Cup. Making me look smart. No, you make yourself look smart by saying the smart things, and then I just repeat your smart things and, and use them as my own. It does happen from time to time. Like once a day, there's going to be an occasion I say something smart. <laughs> a lot of those days, it's, uh, you know. Most of the time, it doesn't that happen. That joke was, uh, <laughs> was fire. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so 2K lead, it's not like they're, they've got this exorbitant lead. It, it, it's... 2k but it, it still feels like they just have control of the map much more complete yeah. than aster Ares. it's tk gold lead for yeah, azure ray mm. haven't really seen much from wind ranger i mean xwy this was just kind of a downside downfall when he played for the main squad of aster sometimes Ooh, he's stuck fly. in this position it's gonna be coddle Looks very dead very here, dead. even with Pavis on top of him. But let's see some meta usage. If they want to take out the tower, fully commit to it. They do, but will there be a response? They're going to glyph, but nobody really coming over. There was a glance from TMing for a second, but... An interesting build from really Somnus. Doing. Vanguard, Ember Spirit, after finishing off Maelstrom. I guess this is solely to counter Windranger and some right clicks from Terrorblade. They also do have Crimson available on Underlord, now going into Pipe. So once they decide to group up on side of Azure Ray, it's going to be super powerful. Let's say they yeah, misuse a Doom or Global Silence. Azure Ray, they're going to be fight ready. They can also try to poke even with these two abilities being online. Pretty, uh, pretty safe from physical damage. That's for sure. So we'll see what they do. They're going to go for the tier one over mid. Now the global silence comes through while TK goes into the blast off. The damage on Somnus. They have the complete control to get that kill. Hit him Alice on the four heroes and now a freezing field. Doom in trouble. Blinding light pushing him into the center of the freezing field. So they at least get themselves a trade, but well done by Aster Ares to at least get that control onto Somnus. Heavy commitment, but overall beautiful execution. Global Silence, follow up from Techies. They pop to Doom as well. Now going through the Fiend's Gate. This is, yeah, well, smoke. So they get their health and mana back, but do they fight right after that. Now they're keeping bottom to the outpost. They saw Ulu. Does have yeah, mana he's in trouble. available? Blinding light, body blocks from FY. Uru is really struggling to deal with this. Now we'll finally pop that Manta and try to TP out, but well, he he's not gonna be able to escape. Yeah, Sunder's there, Illuminate on him. The chase is on, they'll get this kill. I mean, they have more than enough when the Chakra Magic is always on to TM Ming with a level four Frostbite. They're just that getting that every second. That was a cold play. Forcing him to TP out, he's like, they don't have any stuns available, they already used everything, then removes cooldown on Frostbite. It's permanent, six seconds, six seconds from Chakra Magic. Somnus wants to have some kind of a defense item for himself. Going into Lincoln Sphere next, understands that Eter Doom or a Shackle can cause some issues. Still doesn't have a Dispel against Global Silence, so that's gonna be still a pain in the ass for him to play into because we've seen in the previous fight that they can't bring him down. They have to put it all together though to make sure that they can get that kill. So, see if they can continue to do that. And as this lead still sits at around 2,000, Phantom Lancer is about to have that Ags just 350 gold away from uh, finishing off that item. And that could definitely be an item that screams, let's just fight and go for it. Wouldn't be too surprised. That combined with an almost finished pipe, like... There's two big items coming on their side, make it three. 
Phantom Lands are about to finish off Aghanim's Scepter, Pipe that you just mentioned, and also Spirit Vessel on Keeper of the Light. Like, not the most important one, but also the item synergy is going to be there. Can See, Ming. They look in... Also getting closer to Glimmer smoke, Cape. Yeah. So, a lot of defensive tools on their side. Glimmer Cape plus Pavis. Some 300 magic plus physical on top of someone. Like Somnus. Add a flame guard. Extra 300 magic. So, very difficult to go through all this tankiness. How's the Gleipnir looking on XWI? Still far away from it. I was looking over for a second. It looked like Azure Ray. They were going to smoke up and go through the Twin Gate. And that would have timed out to a, a, a potential five on five there in the top lane. So they don't go through. But now Chalice, he's getting harassed a little bit by TK and XWY. Still nothing going on while the Tormentor of Aster Ares is being taken by Azure Ray. So that'll be a. Shard there for Cottle for this FY Keeper of the Light to now have a recall. A good way to split up the map, as you mentioned. Fiend's Gate, Remnants, Recall, they can be anywhere on the map. Roshan is now on Radiant side as well. Let's see if they decide to go for it. They do have Sustain from Keeper of the Light, and they're gonna start to do it. Not the fastest Roshan takes by any means. I think Astro Ares will still have time to respond to this Roshan if they go immediately. They're starting to trek down towards the south end of the map, but they need to go a little bit quicker. Because they're not all committing to this. Ooh, is actually not even going down anymore. TK is over there, knowing that the Tormentor's gone. They'll pick up the Wisdom Rune. It's a slow Rosh. They like, Roshan Why has been buffed. This is Ember we're talking about. Keeper of the Light. Someone needs to deal damage. Now they're going to the top lane. It's like they're dodging the fight, or at least pretending to do so. I see that Rosh has lost some health, but they haven't backed out completely just yet. Both teams kind of... Not willing to make the first move just yet, but I say that with a five-man smoke on Aster Ares. So let's see who will make the jump first. And some illusions out there. Power shot into the abyss. Samus is on a top lane, does have remnant available. So now he's getting stuff from the map. Ulu not farming with his illusions, not pushing out anything. Walks right over into a pit of malice and now that mantis on cooldown so maybe not the best time to fight just yet for aster aries you're gonna kind of want that manta up just in case yeah the good old pit of chalice he's gonna be <laughs> the one controlling the areas of the fight very difficult to invade especially when you know that they've been there before setting up some vision setting up sentries as well somnus going back through the gates yeah, now they know that Ulu left. Yeah, they can try to do it again. How much HP did Roshan recover? Good 2,000 HP. But it's still that, and that's almost Aster Ares signifying, hey, you know what? We're getting nothing out of the map right now. And we'd rather get something out of the map and give up the Aegis than get nothing at all. Something is better than nothing, definitely. So they split the map. I mentioned Terrorblade was not getting anything. Uh, this Terrorblade, he's really low on HP. Going into Butterfly next, I can understand why. Because you're playing into Phantom Lancer, there's still a ton of magical damage. Like, one Illuminate is going to cut your HP into half. One Crystal Nova, one Illuminate, down to half HP. With the way that FY and uh, Teaming have been rolling, they've been... <laughs> In, in tandem, where Chakra Magic's been used on to this Crystal Maiden quite often, so consistently just being frostbitten and hit with that Crystal Nova is a pain for this Terrorblade. And we saw that when they killed him off over bottom, how much of a problem that was for him. Fights are going to be very chaotic for Aster Ares. They need to 
like heavily commit to win a fight with Doom, Global Silence, Meta, Windranger with the Focus Fire. If they don't get the kills, if Azure Ray survives, they're gonna be the kings of the fight. In terms of net worth, there's still like just 1k gold lead for them because sure, Doom is printing money, going for all these auras. Pipe, Crimson finished on him. Blink Dagger as well, he's been farming, staying on top of the net worth as well, but Phantom Lancer with Ags, Chakra Magic, Firestorm, like random slides, Keeper of the Light with Illuminates. They do want to play these drone out fights, maybe use one or two buybacks as well, especially if they commit with a Doom. So I really don't see Astro Ares winning a fight because Terra Blade's way too squishy to be able to sitting in the middle of a fight and dealing damage. Also playing into unfavorable matchup against the PL, getting his mana burn. It's gonna be a difficult one. We kind of saw this exact, maybe not word for word, but we saw a very similar situation uh, for the side of Team Secret when Chrysalis was on his Terra Blade. Looking for the reactive taser, they're gonna go in and they've got the global silence being used and now, can they follow that up with anything? The Global Silence is worn off. They drop down the Pit of Malice, and that's going to be onto the Doom. XWY as well as Uu in the Metamorphosis trying to output that damage. They go to the Freezing Field from TM Ming, and TK is going to jump on into the fight. But now it looks like he'll at least be the one who dies for the side of Aster Ares. And can they get anything more out of this for the side of Azor Ray? They'll show over that Spirit Lance on XWY, who doesn't have a lot of mana to work with, but does have that Gleipnir as well as the Shackle Shot. It's not really too much control. It's just going too far into the base that Azor Ray don't want to do. The problem is they committed with meta, used global silence. Zoom is still available, but you can see how these fights are going. They're not receiving damage. Somnus, very defensive with his item build. Lincoln Sphere, Vanguard that can be disassembled into Octarine Core, different items as well. He can also keep it if he feels like he needs, I don't know, Bash or Abyssal Blade, whatever. And also, yeah, just adding more value against the Wind Ranger and her Wait, focus so fire. Oh, he looks very dead here. Yeah, Frostbite, Silver Bind, Glatnir's not really going to do much for him. This Spear Vessel used on him as well, so XWI is going to be dead for 50 seconds without buyback. They've been putting pressure on the side of Aster Ares, and they have uh, started to crumble. Moves just free to take this base. Just uh, a matter of time before he kind of gets there. And you can see the illusions flooding in from Lou. Demalis down again. And there's not much of an answer for Shang Tsi. He just kind of has to get his stand mana there and, yeah. and get, yeah, get all his mana burned away. Doom may be off cooldown, but you don't even have the mana to use it. Still holding the Aegis for another minute. This should be a set of barracks popping the glyph. Not gonna save them. Look at what Somnus, he's pretending. He's pretending to be AFK, not moving his hero. He's legit away. Let's see what he's... He's, okay, he's on he a moved. call. It's all good. On well, that bottom set of racks, like you said, the health of it's gonna be depleted and... Just these near is these small little poking and prodding tools that Asteraries have at their disposal just aren't really doing anything. And again, these illusions, they'll clear up mines, they'll clear up the mana that they have on Asteraries, and it, it's death by a thousand cuts right now for Asteraries. They just kind of have to sit here and watch as illusions go their way and they lose these buildings. Exactly kind of a rough fun. one. I've been... We did mention that they need to commit. They need to get stuff done with Doom. Now they're going to smoke while Aegis is about to expire. Trying to look for a play and Radiant. They are using a scan, thinking that they are doing Tormentor or picking up their Wisdom Rune. Which they can do. Not if they're an illusion, though. There it is. They do pick up that Wisdom Rune. Meanwhile, the other one's going to be picked up by Somnus, and they've had control of these Wisdom Runes, so a lot of the experience going their way. It's not only just a net worth lead, but a nine-level advantage for Azure. 
there really hasn't been a fight or a part in this game where I would say Azura Ray have felt like they've been on the losing end of, a, of an exchange. Yeah, some of, some of these fights uh, looked really wonky from their side. Astro Ares looking for an opening, but then again, Terrorblade, he's not tanky. One Firestorm, one Slight. Oh, they doomed That's Underlord. A uh, very early doom. They needed to get the damage in to get this kill on a Chalice. He's not going to survive, so they'll at least get that. But now you're looking at a depleted mana on Doom and Lu going in. So Frostbite, Silence there, onto the Phantom Lancer. On the other side of the fight, they've got Somnus maybe looking to make a way in with a Remnant. The Solar Bind, the damage, the kill there on the Red Panda, as well as Shang C and a Remnant forward now looking over at Lu. Spirit Lance and the mana starting to get depleted, but he goes down to the Manta. He's got the Sunder. It's not going to keep him alive for much longer, really. And they'll call GG and even disconnect wow. as game one goes to Azure Ray. I mean, this game looked pretty over, even when the gold lead was 